In this video, we'll be covering the basic tools that florists use. If you are a beginner, you can consider getting some of the equipment because you'll be using them quite often. To start off, we'll be introducing the types of scissors that we use. We have um, floral scissors that is specially used for cutting flowers and stems. There are many types of floral scissors available. Both the black and the pink one can be used interchangeably. When cutting thicker branches or thicker stems, I would use a pruning shears because these are designed for heavy duty cutting and so you don't injure your hands. Next we have the ribbon scissors. I generally do not use my ribbon scissors to cut flower stems because I need the scissors to be sharp. The next frequently used are tapes. So we have floral tape. The most commonly found in Singapore is a green tape that is only sticky when it's stretched. The colour blends in with the stems and we use it to fix broken stems or when we are doing wiring and we want to conceal wires or sticks. Next we have pot tape. This tape is only sticky on one side and it is very strong so we use it to fix floral foam in place. Of course we have the regular cellophane tape Last but not least, we have the measuring tape. This is not very important if you are doing flowers for a hobby, but I use it very often to take measurements of the places I'm setting up in or even of my arrangements. We also use a lot of wires. There are many kinds of thickness and colours and we use wires to do arrangements like flower crowns or corsages. I also use a lot of brown twine to secure my bouquets. You can also use leather cords and ribbons. So there we have the basic tools. If you are just starting out, I would recommend you to get a pair of flower scissors, twine, and tape and that's all you'll need.